Part of reinventing fire is to transition the electric sector to a system of efficiency and renewables, being able to meet our nation's energy needs. We have done a lot of analysis over the past year and a half to prove that you can meet upwards of 80% of our total energy demands through renewable energy. I think in the case of California, it certainly is one of the most aggressive renewable portfolio standards out there. Since 1975, their energy demand has remained relatively flat just by adopting and incorporating some of the low-hanging fruit and some of energy efficiency. And so if you went in and adopted some of the more aggressive energy efficiency measures, you could really decrease the overall energy demand in that state and bring the actual demand down and then that 30 percent might not seem so aggressive and so difficult to accomplish and so i think that'd be first and foremost the second thing really is to not necessarily think about renewable generation in terms of large centralized generation with solar panels on roofs you could put wind turbines on buildings utilize existing infrastructure to help us meet those needs so you're not going to be taking land out of service. There are a couple utilities that are doing things to help mitigate some of the issues in terms of renewable energy development. For example, Southern California Edison recently adopted a solar photovoltaic program that actually utilized uh, in existing manufacturing and industrial roofs, they could actually leverage that roof space because it would serve the utility and the utility's customers and meet the overall load of all their customers rather than just the on-site load of that. Our recommendation really is to transition the electric, the electric sector to a system of efficiency and renewables and away from coal and other fossil fuels. It opens up markets for different players, breaks down what many people believe is a broken regulatory structure uh, across the electricity sector and really benefits everybody involved.